Today in our 2012 Mazda 3, we're doing a test fit of the Thule Passage 2 trunk mount bike rack. That part number is TH910XT. Now we already have our bike secured down. We're first going to show you how we do that. So we have two cradles in place with three straps, two on our frame, and one is our anti-sway strap in the back. We're going to pull down and lift up to release those. Then we'll be able to pull our bike off and set it off to the side. We'll take a few measurements here. Overall, what we're adding to our vehicle, it's going to be about 13 and a quarter inches. Now we do have the option to rotate our arms down. We're going to pinch at our two pinch points on either side. And wiggle that arm back and forth until it comes loose and rotates down. Same thing here. So now we're only adding about seven inches. Now, as for how this is secured down, we have six straps all together, two over the top portion of our hatch, two to the sides above our taillights, and two underneath the bottom portion. We also have these pads along the bottom and along the top that are going to help to prevent scratches or abrasions. You do just want to be sure you clean underneath there before you install your bike rack. And another thing to note is that we won't be able to use our rear wiper blade with our bike rack installed. Now how we adjust this to fit our vehicle, we have our fit dial here on the side. We have a thumb screw on each side that we'll need to loosen. We've got it set to 9 today as per our Thule guide. And the guide does come with all the different fits for all the different vehicles, so you can use this one bike rack on many vehicles. So that's going to be our completed look at the Thule Passage trunk mount bike rack, part number TH910XT on our 2012 Mazda 3. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.